ton of people here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh yeah, baby. I'm about to go for a nuke. A nuke versus the sweaties. Come on, Tay. Stuff that are banned have to be banned in the in the list, dude. Oh my god, this gun is crazy, dude. What is going on, guys? It is your boy Afti back with a brand new video. Today we are using the most overpowered version of the AK74U. I'm talking about attachments that pro players ban. I'm talking about all the good stuff. We're going all in. And we're gonna be using basically a very good pub stomping 74U class. So a lot of you guys know I tend to make random AK74U videos about every week or so, either the best class, the worst class. And this is my favorite gun in the game. I absolutely love this gun. And there's a lot of reasons why I love making class setups on this gun. Oh my God. Do you see what I'm telling you when I say it's the best? Now, as a pro player and as a competitor, um, attachments tend to get banned. Stuff tends to get GA'd or slash banned. And you know, I don't use those things anymore. But right now we are using the best version basically of the 74U. You can see it has a lot of damage, has a lot of recoil control. Shot punching is what I do. Oh, I stopped shooting. Oh my God, it's so good. Kill you. Oh, what the? Oh, even a shotgun kill and kill me up close. All right, down 52 to 100. Let's bring this back. And I know a lot of you guys know, like, 74U has has a lot of changes and different and different variations of the weapon. Compared to when the game first came out, obviously we were using like certain attachments. A lot of things were allowed, but here we are. A lot of things have changed and I'm using the most overpowered 74U class you can use. Why is there some people here? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's apathy. Light in the kill fade. Oh my God. Get the fifth. I gotta play the OBJ. This guy's actually in this corner. No, he's not. These guys are going so hard, dude. Like, how is he contesting that? Haha. Haha. -ha. Oh. Apathy is going to win this game and the crowd's going to go wild and we're going to leave lots of likes, right guys? For the YouTube algorithm, like everybody says. The YouTube algorithm. They're trying Doing to shoot my chopper down. We're about to three cap them. This is a good, but bad. We're going to give them splits. We're losing A. Oh, on me. Oh my God, dude. All right, we just unlocked the harp and we're going to use this bad boy. We're going to have to stop him be here. Just in time, going to be able to stop be here. And this is by far, like I said, my favorite gun in the game. The 74U. Absolutely love this gun. And basically using stuff that pro players don't use, like band attached and everything. And a lot of you guys don't know, but this is something I do most of the time and, and most videos. Um, I do leave the class setup at the end of the video now just so you guys can enjoy the content and the gameplay And I, don't worry the class setup will always be there for you guys. I won't leave you to draw. Okay, you know, I love you guys This kills so fast dude feels like I'm cheating bro. I was saying if you want to dominate with this class You want to dominate some pub kids. You're not really playing anything competitive This is a great class to really Destroy some kids. Look at that. I absolutely horked on that kid. <sighs> Straight horked on him. Because this class is very good. I'll be completely honest with you. This is an A1 class. This is a tier S tier class. You, you could beat the sweaties with this class. Like, look at this. I'm at, these guys are really sweaty. I don't know if you've been noticing. These guys are very sweaty kids. But it don't matter. You could be sweaty as a sweaty you sweaty you want. This is a very good class. And thinking about it. Thinking about it. I got full streaks. I'm on a 10. Hello, I left the game. I'm sorry that I made you leave the game, brother. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm about to go for a nuke. A nuke versus the sweaties. Come on, Tay. I'm literally rocking the best class, like... I, like, I don't know what to tell you. I feel bad. I really do. Oh my God. Dude, they're all here. Dude, oh my God. I'm still died. I'm about to go for a nuke. Oh my God. What am I? I'm on like a 20. 
Dude, I'm so dead. I actually, I'm actually dead for real this time. Oh my god, dude. See you, chopper. Oh my. Oh my god. No, no. Oh my. That's how you start around. Yeah, shoot his body. Shoot his body. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oof. I got your help, baby. He said his body back. Now, something I'm really hoping they do, it's going to be interesting to see. I don't know if you guys remember MW CDO playlist, but basically what occurred is that stuff were banned in the comp competitive scene, right? And not a lot of stuff were banned in the actual playlist. You know what I mean? And that's very, very bad. Like you have to follow the, the pro rules or like stuff that are banned have to be banned in the, in the list, dude. Oh my God, this gun is crazy, dude. Like he's just saying, like what? What? Are, like I, I feel honestly, I feel kind of bad for him. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm teasing him a little bit. Like he's a good player, you know. He's not horrible, and they're all rage quitting. Lordy. But I'm hoping, you know, they do it right in Cold War. Once they re release league play or rank play, whatever, that a lot of things that are banned or not allowed happens, and that's gonna be really, really good. And I'm sure they will because they, honestly, they've been doing a pretty good job of following all the rules. I'm um, helping with the, you know, sell everything, dude. They've just been doing an amazing job making sure the game is working well. The one thing that is annoying, though, is scan and repair. Now, I know a lot of you guys get that because I'm not the only one in the world. Everybody gets that. Scan and repair. Scan and repair. And that's a PC thing, too, but so annoying. Hello, Tay. Hello, Tay. Dude, when I preem, almost any gunfight that I preem, I have a, such a high success rate to win it. It's actually absurd. What the hell? What's going on? That's a silencer. I hate silencers. I never use silencers this game. I've told you guys why, right? Because you lose damage range. I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of putting something that's going to reduce my damage range. No, it's not. Some people like it. Some people don't. I mean, I don't know. Whatever you want to use. Dude, what? Thank God I had that streak, but I would not have seen him. Dude, poor Tay. I'm just spawn killing this guy. That has to be Tay. That's Tay. Tay, see you later, buddy. Oh, good nade. All right, guys. This is the most overpowered AK-74U class setup you can do in this game. These are perks to everything I'm running. If you want to pause the video, see what I'm rocking with. But let's go to the actual class. I am only using five attachments. Some machine guns, and especially in pubs, perks are really beneficial because you can run like Ghost Ninja, and you can run like Flak Tack, and all that. So five five attachments, all you really need in the 74U. For the muzzle, we got the Spetnaz Compensator. You can low-key run the KGB Eliminator if you want. I, I probably should have tried that, but Spetnaz Compensator does the job well. The only reason I say KGB el Eliminator is because of that. Basically, it's like a mini flash, a mini flash. Um. <laughs> It's like a mini suppressor, okay? Because what it does is it reveals your red dot in the radar for literally a split second. So unless you're staring at the radar, you're not gonna see it. So it really helps with like being, you know, invisible on the radar. For the barrel, we're gonna be running task force. This attachment is crazy. It is banned, it is GA'd, whatever you wanna say in a pro scene, in, a, in the competitive scene, because it's that good on the 74U. It makes the 74U more overpowered than what it already is. For the under barrel, we're going to run a Spetnaz grip. Now, speed grip is good in terms of like, you know, because of the movement speed, right? So it gets you places faster. You get to be more aggressive. But in pubs, you don't really need that really fast movement speed. Having the super recoil control is really good, especially with Task Force, because Task Force has a little bit of recoil to it. We got the, the Elastic Wrap, just one of the best attachments in the game. And we got the Skeletal Stock, another great attachment pretty much in the game those two are like these two are like almost every single gun you want to have these two so that is it guys for today's video i hope you enjoyed it make sure to like comment and subscribe smash that like button if you could do me a favor right now if you don't mind scrolling down especially i gave you this nice little 70 for you class or clicking it with your finger wherever you are phone tablet xp pps4 t box pc whatever it is click that like button it helps me a lot and it's very greatly appreciated i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll catch you on the next video peace out